Now, just what happened with the turnovers to start the second half? Well, I thought, um, you know, we did a good job of breaking the press, um, just like we did at our place in the first half. But we were turning the ball over in the half court. And uh, especially when the ball got in the low post, we were turning the basketball over. That really hurt us because now we're handling the press, but we're still having 11 turnovers. And uh, we should have been in a way better position um, than we were, in, uh, you know, at halftime. Um, then in the second half, I didn't, you know, they didn't do anything different than they did in the first half. And our guys, um, you know, just turned the basketball over and, you know, didn't handle it. And um, just they, they got on an unbelievable run and got the crowd behind them. And, um, that was a difference in the game. You know, obviously we, we threw in a couple threes that didn't deserve to go in there that made the game close. But uh, to be in a position after the way we played um, to tie the game or win the game um, was, was kind of amazing, a little surreal because um, of a couple of the baskets that banked in from three. How, how much better do you think they, that they've been since you last played them and going from the full court, the press to zone and, and uh, dealing with that defensively? I think they're exactly the same. Yeah. I don't see any difference in them. Um, they're a good team then, they're a good team now. I mean, when you start in our league on the road a couple games, you know what I mean? And now you, you go to Maryland, you go to Purdue, and then when you come back and you have some games you feel like you should win, you know, you don't have your confidence sky high. And then, if, you know, a couple of your main guys are perimeter guys, they don't shoot well. Now it just, you know, we've had two games where we've won um, by a basket. And both games had either their best player or their second best player out. And then we stole a game on the road by hitting a three at the buzzer to send it into overtime. So we have a good record, but three of those games can be flipped real easy. They're on the other end of that. They got a couple games that they, they feel like they should have won, and they haven't. And so, you know, I think both teams are really similar in that respect. They're not, you know, a whole lot different than they were when we played them. And it's just kind of how it is. Sometimes guys that maybe have a better record, you say, hey, they're better than them. In reality, they're pretty equal. Did the way the turnover snowballed on you surprise you? Yes, yes. You know, I, I just thought our guys were casual to start the second half. We had a couple once we got in the half court where we just threw it, and you know, you've got to have a sense of where you are and who's around you. And uh, I think it was Morris both times. He just came and took the ball from us. Then we're falling down, you know, and just it was it was just one of those things that just kind of snowballed in the wrong direction. Yeah, you're talking about in the first half, you hold them to thirty-two percent shooting, and right. you feel like you. Should be more than a four point lead. Or no question. You know, when you dominate you know, the glass the way we did yeah. in the first half, then we had zero offensive rebounds and we're only up four. So we, we didn't allow them to get sec any second chance opportunities. You know, King got away from us a couple times, a couple times, and we just, you know, we didn't take care of the basketball, and that's that's the difference in the game. You had talked just a couple weeks ago about how you weren't putting it together in, in multiple facets. There would yes. always be one set. And it, that might be the most disappointing thing about tonight is to win the rebounds, shoot the ball well, and then give it away with the turnovers. No question. No question. That it's, you, know, you, you have to be able um, to give yourself a chance. And uh, we just didn't give ourselves a chance. And, and, they're, and the, the thing about their run, I think it was a 20-2 to two run or a 21-2 run, um, was that they were feeding off. We were compounding our mistakes. You know, one mistake was leading to the second mistake. And, and then it's just, you know, you're shuffling guys in and out. You're just trying to find the right guy who will have the confidence to bring the ball up and settle you down. And, um, you know, we, we struggled doing that. In the first half, it seemed like you had a, a bit of a setback when you first went to the bench that you guys then kind of made up for later. But in the second half, it wasn't necessarily the bench guys. It was some of those. Yeah, it was everybody through the course of the game. You know, everybody, you know, struggled taking care of the basketball. If you look at the, you know, the box score. Probably the only guy who didn't was Hammonds. I, I thought he did a good job of making decisions and passing the ball out, especially in that last possession. You know, he gets the ball out there quick, and we get a good reversal, and we get the ball back in a couple different scoring opportunities. We don't convert, but it was still a, it was a good possession. What did you want there in the last possession when you got the ball to Vince down in the base? Well, we, we got the ball inside to AJ right away, and we, we, we thought that we could get it to him one-on-one -on -one and play. If not, maybe get some inside-outside you know, play and get a wide open three or drive the ball um, at that time. And that's what I told him. I just said, you know, you know, the shot's there and you're in rhythm, you have to take it. Um, if not, you know, keep probing the defense, keep working the basketball. And they did that. We got the ball in position to score. Um, we just weren't able to convert. Do you see some contact um, with Vince there at the end? Did you uh, it's, you know, it's one of those bang, bang plays yeah. and go either way. The one thing it did was it fooled all the players. Yeah. You know, yeah, everybody yeah. stopped. Right. Normally that's pretty good telltale that something's there. But I, I don't know if they thought it was a jump ball or a foul. I thought it was something. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. I thought it was something. Something needed to be called right there. Everybody, you rarely ever see it where everybody stops. And the crowd just got silent. You, we, nobody knew how to react to it. And, you know, you're obviously, as a coach, when your guy shoots it, you know, you feel like, you know, you want the benefit of the doubt. But you got to be able to make a play right there. When you're on the road, you got to be able to make that play.
Vince was a presence in the first half. Um, you bring him off the bench today. Just kind of what was that decision? And do you think in the second half it was just the offense overall being out of sync that kept him from? No question. We, we didn't get enough attempts. We didn't get enough looks. And then we finally settled down that last 10 minutes and we got more, you know, more looks at the basket. And, you know, we just had to take care of the basketball in that first 10 minutes. I thought Vince was good coming off the bench and he did some really good things. How come he did come off the bench? Because he was late today or something.